Okay, so this new technology, which is known as the induced draft zigzag kiln, has been widely adopted in India and Nepal. And that differs from the conventional, conventional kiln technologies that we have in Pakistan uh, because of two factors. So A, it's got an electric fan which uh, induces an uh, artificial draft through the kiln and that bakes the bricks within the kiln better and B, it consumes less coal. So the fact that you're baking better bricks, you're getting more high quality bricks and that leads to larger revenues and then you're using less coal and so that's where kiln owners save on fuel costs. So overall, the, the kiln itself generates higher profits for kiln owners. Now the interesting bit starts where uh, the kiln emissions are concerned. So within the, when, when, we, when we look at a zigzag kiln, the zigzag kiln, the way, the, the way it differs from a conventional kiln is that the bricks within the zigzag are stacked in such a way that it requires the air within the kiln to move, to, it takes the air longer to move within the kiln. Uh, particles, air particles within the kiln deposit, within the kiln deposit at the bottom. And so the zigzag kilns tend to have lower emissions compared to conventional brick kilns. Uh, in the study that we just did, we used this information. So part of it was to construct a portfolio of emissions. And what we noticed is that zigzag kilns are way more uh, cleaner compared to conventional kilns. And then if we look at the social benefits to society, and this includes private net benefits or profits to kiln owners, and the costs of greenhouse gas emissions, if you take those out of those profits, then we see that over a 20 year time period, uh, adopting zigzag technology leads to uh, social net benefits that are almost three times higher than social net benefits if we just have conventional kiln technologies.